This might still be pool one. Yes. So, so this is the end of pool one. We are going to be taking you through wave two to end this, but right now just one lagging match behind. I know this one was running yeah. a little slow. Uh, when you have a player such as MK Leo in the pool, I think that attracts a lot of people. And yes. <laughs> things to do tend to hole up, but Solex yeah. making it this far in the bracket actually pulled off a really great win over Muffin, Muffin Offstream, which I was able to watch. So. Yeah, Solex is one of uh, the region's premier uh, Daisy mates. Yes. So. In a, in a region where, uh, you know, obviously we have Razo who's PR'd, it's, it's really cool that Soul X kind of made a niche for himself and a name for himself. And look at this, off to a good start already. Yeah, absolutely. One of his most favored matchups as well, having spent so much time in that UCLA-USC region, a ton of Palus to contest. And we're in SoCal, isn't it, Palu infested? <laughs> you bring up a fair point. That said, Midnight is dyed in the wool as a... Uh, primarily uh, originating on Wi-Fi, uh, Palutena, and has made a name for himself as a very formidable opponent here in the region. Yeah, absolutely. And he's been backing oh! up those results <laughs> with F smashes like that one. A hot start for Midnight. And that even that F smash is going to have some ramifications later on in terms of making Solax feel like he has to back off. Peach players and Daisy players, they want to play aggressively. They want to be in uh, their opponent's face. But, you know, obviously Palutena has the tools and the frame data to run that approach useless. Excellent float in there from Solex, able to just bob and weave in, get the stock there with a bit fair. Yeah, low float aerials from Solex, gonna be the move here, especially need to be wary about safety on shield, minus eight being the magic number. Oh man, Solex thought he was safe on plat, and Midnight showing that there's nowhere on the stage he could be safe from Palutena's options. Yeah, really good job, two early stocks taken as well, that always has to be a boost to the confidence. Yeah, Solex hasn't really been able to get started there. And that's the thing is, you, you definitely game plan for Peach being able to pivot away and go for turnip. And Midnight was a little ready, but he's not ready for this particular ledge trap. Trying to escape here, and he forced the way back to center stage. Excellent job done by Midnight. Midnight doing a really good job of alternating the way he's facing, not just making the back airs obvious, just disguising his options oh! so well. And there, there's that explosive advantage game that Peach and Daisy have, but Solex wasn't able to really push it to its full, its, its fullest extent. Right now, trying to trap Midnight, make his landing really hard. Nice nair. That Midnight having to go way out deep to ledge, which is excellent. All players should inspire to try and get out of a disadvantaged situation like that. Still commanding that right side of the stage. Nair again harassing Solex even more. Uh, nice, nice response here by Solex. That might have been a mistake on the explosive flame. I wonder if Midnight wanted a different option. Oh, playing a little dangerously with these teleport recoveries. Whoa, what a. What a rope dope there, right? Midnight able to get the back throw and putting Solex in a really bad situation. It's going to almost end it there with a big response down smash. Oh. And that parasol hitbox coming to Solex's rescue, but still a mountain to climb here, and that back throw will not make it any easier. Now let's see what Midnight's planning. Okay, that was a uh, very aggressive that. landing. <laughs> I mean, hey, you know what? That could be the kind of mistake that Solex with Pizza Daisy's punch day could absolutely key in on to try to take it from Midnight. Yeah, only a single opening. Already got 50%, but still trapped at the ledge. That back throw, is it going to do it? Yeah. It is. <laughs> I mean, struggle as you might, unless you have, like, nearly task level match skills, it's just in that, that damage range, it's really hard to get out of Palutena's clutches. Yeah, Midnight just so practiced. I'm Speaking of a move that a lot of people lift from Wi-Fi, it has its merits offline as well, as you just saw there. Yeah. Especially when you make him so fearful from the two smash attacks you landed already as Palutena of all characters. Because you, you just feel compelled to hold shield, especially just given what the state of affairs in that matchup at that point. So, I don't think we're going to see, uh, I mean, Solex, as far as I know, is a die in the wool Daisy main, so I don't think we're going to see a character. He does swap. have a Bayonetta. He oh, has he been does? using the Bayonetta recently. Uh, I don't know if he'll pull the trigger on the Switch, but he has been giving this character some tournament play. He's definitely giving it some thought. Sometimes this is part of the, the game within the game. <laughs> a little bit of a uh, time. You are, you are allowed to take some degree of time in selecting your character. Yes. So. Um, and I think we were just going to see it. Because, again, like, Soul Axe definitely played that very well. It's <laughs> just that Midnight got more out of his um, advantage state situations. So. Yeah, he did. And also limiting the damage off of Solex's down tilts. He did get 50% in that last off, but those first two stocks really just escaped low percent so well. Nice tech follow up there by Midnight landing the bear as well. Getting the bread basket up air, one of the best moves in the game. 
Okay, uh, Solid's trying to swing to get his way off from ledge, but good job by Midnight making him have to think so hard. Oh my god, that shield is impregnable. Yeah, Midnight had time for that second back air, and Solex just wasn't expecting it at all the way he went low so early. Yeah, it's a very aggressive call there by Midnight. You love to see it. And also, the, the stage select actually coming back to uh, uh, Solex going to rue that decision because the blast zone is there too. But perhaps. Uh, yeah, Midnight feels like perhaps as an online player, he's figured out the download <laughs> to some extent. But Solex still has a chance to switch things up and come back here. And even with those high blast zones on town, Midnight finds a second kill with up air Solex down to his final stock within a minute. Yeah, that, this is just, Midnight just came out swinging and Solex just hasn't had a response. The Nair Train, looking for the up air, and Solex has to use a very costly um, Laggy Siphon to get out of the way, and Midnight is just not letting this man get back to center stage. He has claimed the stage and looking to claim this game for himself. On top of the roll as well. Oh, oh he's going for the down air. You saw that, right, Bronk? He did want it all there. Yeah, and, and Midnight is doing a really good job of avoiding where Solex wants to follow up when he uh, defensive options are actually successful. <laughs> oh, all right. Midnight is like, I'm going to take a peek a little far ahead and try to read on that one. I mean, when you're three stocks to one up, you have that luxury of being greedy. Oh, my God. And just like the way game one ended, my man rolled the ledge and annihilated him. <laughs> yeah, all three smash attacks putting in work for Midnight and... Man, Solex made it. This is winner's finals of the pool. And it just didn't look like it at all. Yeah, that was just 